As a continuation of the previous six videos, I will now demonstrate creating detail sheets in Civil 3D. The details we use are pulled into the project folder. They will be XREFed into the master detail drawing. Using this process, different people can edit different details while the master detail drawing is being put together. Start with a new drawing using the styles template. Right click the layout tab, click from template. Navigate to the sheets template drawings, select it, then click open. From the insert layouts pop-up, click the details layout, click OK. You will notice a new tab appear at the bottom of Civil 3D. Click this tab to open the sheet. To remove the frame around the logo, type image frame into the command line. Type 1, press enter. Type image frame one more time into the command line, type 0, and press enter. Now we are going to create a frame of reference for the view frame. Start by typing PL into the command line, snap the polyline to the corners of the view frame, After you have clicked the fourth vertex, type C to close the polyline. Select the polyline that you just drew, type CH space into the command line to move the polyline into model space. From here, select the polyline and move it so that the bottom left corner of the rectangle is moved to the origin. Now we are going to move the polyline onto a non-plot layer. To make it easier to identify sheets that we create, we are now going to number the view box. Type M text into the command line, click a location on the map. Type 1 into the M text box, select the M text box and open its properties. Adjust the box so that it is on a non plot layer, size it so that it is easy to see, and center the alignment of the text. Move the M text box to the center of the polygon. Select both the M text box and the polygon and type copy base into the command line. Click the lower left corner of the box. Now type paste clip into the command line and click the lower right corner of the box. Now move the second box by selecting both the M text and the polygon, then typing M into the command line. Click anywhere on the drawing. Now type at 1 comma 0, press enter. Select, copy and paste this M text box and polygon as many times as you have details. For this example, we make three copies. Change the numbers as you go. Delete the empty layout tab. Double click the details tab and name it according to the name of your first detail. Create a copy of this tab by right clicking the tab and selecting move or copy. From this dialog box, click the create a copy checkbox and select move to end. Click OK. Create additional tabs for each of the details you include in the plan set. Be sure to name the tabs as you go. Now from the first tab, double click inside the viewport. Unlock the scale of the viewport. From model space, type ZE into the command line to zoom to extents. With the window in view, now type ZW into the command line. Snap to the top left corner of the first polygon, then click and snap to the bottom right corner. You will notice that the scale should say 1 inch equals 1 foot. Lock the viewport. Follow the same process for the remaining tabs to set up the remaining detail sheets. From model space, we are now going to XREF in the detail sheets from the detail drawing in the project folder. Type XREF into the command line. Click the first drop down in the external references dialog box and click attach drawing. Navigate to the folder that the detail drawings are stored. Click on your detail of interest, select it, then click open. From the attach external reference pop-up dialog box, check to make sure that the overlay reference type radio button is selected. Make sure that the path type is set to relative path. Scale is set to 1. Click the box for specify on screen under insertion point. Click OK. Now click the lower left corner of the first reference polygon. This will attach the detail drawing to the appropriate location. Follow the same steps for the remainder of the details that are to be referenced to this master detail drawing. If you find that you need to add additional details, simply make copies of the polygon and M text field and place them alongside the original reference boxes. Now copy and rename the sheet tabs in the drawing. Attach the remainder of the detail drawings to their appropriate reference locations. For this example, we will be using four details in the plan set. To ensure we do not get any line work from the reference detail into any of the other details, we are going to clip the XREF details. Start by selecting the detail and typing XC into the command line. Click New Boundary, click Select Polyline, then click the reference polygon. Do this for each of the details. Because we haven't adjusted the viewport on the latest tab that we just added, we can do this now. Follow the same steps previously mentioned. Go ahead and save your drawing. 
You will notice that for our example, all of the planned production sheets are being saved in the Sheets folder. Type DWG props into the command line where you can add the title name of the drawing. This will be used in the sheet list table that I will introduce in the next video. Open the sheet set manager by typing SSM into the command line. From the drop down menu, select open. Navigate to the sheet set for the project, click open. Now select all of the tabs in the master detail drawing and drag them over into the sheet set. Click import checked. Now we can name all of the detail sheets in the plan set. From the sheet set manager, right click on the detail sheet, click properties. In sheet line three, name the detail sheet. Do this for all of the detail sheets. Please like this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. The next video will be the final video in this series. I will show you how to put together cover note sheets along with how to generate a sheet list table referencing all the sheets in our plan set and how to plot the plan set as a PDF. Thank you for watching.